Hey everyone, Gear with Rock Solid Productions with a slightly different sort of video here today. We have the Zedusa here, which we have reviewed in the past. I'll have a link for you right up here. Now, one of the things I didn't like about it was the fact that when you plug this in to an Xbox, and what this basically does is you plug this into an original Xbox, and then it gives you composite output, analog audio output, or an HDMI output or digital audio output here too. The problem is the height of the base does not match the height of the bottom of the Xbox. So it's actually supported in full by this very nice metal connector, but it still is putting stress on that connector. So uh, I've wanted to 3D print and design a new case for this for a while. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but Revent Flow has, and this is his design. And basically what you do is you mount it to the bottom like that, and it will raise this up so basically you go ahead and have a more secure mount. Now to do this, these are 2.5 millimeter screws. We're just gonna go ahead and take those out real quick. Now, while I do have a 3D printed accessory website, I don't sell this. This is his design. I don't steal other people's designs. Go ahead, check out his website. He sells them on there. I think they're only five bucks. And you do want to hold on to these plastic hex standoffs. You will need to repurpose those along with the screws. Now, this is a power screwdriver, but as you can see, I'm able to, to basically do everything by hand without an issue. But if I wanted to, I could just back it out. And there is number four coming out now. It's not a real hard pressure fit or anything like that in here. So we're going to take this, we're going to set it aside. We don't need it anymore. Now, I have printed this out of green PLA. Uh, you can use PTG, you can use ABS. I just like using PLA, it generally just works. And you gotta be careful because that'll happen too because you don't have anything securing the top to the base anymore. So we're gonna flip that upside down. We're gonna run our just our first screw up through here. Put our standoff in. Now with this, running it up through using the power screwdriver a little bit easier just because it's kind of cutting new threads through the uh, the PLA itself. And it really doesn't matter which corner we go in. We're gonna go into this one. I mean, it kind of does because it is longer than wide, but not terribly. Like there's no top or bottom. We got that started. I'm not gonna crank it down at this point. Now what you may find out to be beneficial too is just to, to check and see which side, like that one there, threads on a little bit easier going up into that molded standoff there. Now it's important the open feet go down, not up. The way I had looked at it initially, I thought that basically this would sit there, but it doesn't, it's the other way around. Print time on this is pretty quick. I wanna say it took like 20, 25 minutes. Uh, I was using uh, Chuck from Filament Friday. He's got a 0.28 layer height, uh, fast PLA profile that I use on my uh, Ender 3 V2 Neo, and it printed it out quite nicely. Come on, you. Tighten everything down and test fit it out. This is one of those things where doing it on camera definitely adds a bit of a challenge that wouldn't normally be here. And we are threading through that. Awesome, now we're gonna just tighten everything down by hand. You don't need to crank down on this, just get them snug. That one's good. Now let's check the test fitment on our Xbox. And now it just plugs in right like that. And all of the wiggle and movement is gone. This is properly now supported by this. It's taking the strain off of the connector itself. It is pretty good. So uh, this is not something like I mentioned that I will sell on my 3D printer store but uh, on blueshell3d.com, I think I'll have the, the website up. You can order it right through him for a couple bucks and be ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you wanna help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos.
You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rocksolid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code Rocksolid Solid 10 when you're shopping at castlemaniagames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.